We are now going to look at reading off points from the Cartesian plane. So, if we have that nice little pink point over there, what's the name of that pink point? Well, to get the name of a point, we need to get its x-coordinate and its y-coordinate. So let's start with the x-coordinate. To get the x-coordinate, we need to see how far left or right we've gone from the origin. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the x-axis. That's kind of the, that's the measuring stick of how far left or right we go. So let's go straight from that point down to the x-axis. And there we can see that this point is three steps to the right of the origin. So the x-coordinate of this point is 3. Then we need the y-coordinate. The y-coordinate is how far up or down you are. We're going to use the y-axis as the measuring stick here of how far up or down you are from the origin. So if we go from the point straight across to the y-axis, we can see that we're on the level that is five steps above the origin. And so our y-value, our y-coordinate of this point is five. So this point, the pink point we have there, is 3, 5. All right, let's give the name of this one. Again, we first want to get the x-coordinate, and that is how far we are to the left or right of the origin. We use the x-axis as a measuring stick, so we go down to the x-axis and we see that we're seven steps to the left, in other words, our x-coordinate is negative 7. We then need to know how far up or down we are from the origin. A y-axis is the measuring stick for that. So let's go across to that and we will see that we are on a level that's two steps up from the origin. And so our y-coordinate is 2. So the name of that green point is negative 7, 2. Let's have a look at this yellow point now. We want um, to find the coordinates of this yellow point. As always, we start by looking for the x-coordinate. So to get that, we go down to our x-axis and we see here that the x-coordinate lies halfway between 3 and 4. So in fact, it's 3 and a half. And I just wanted to show you this because I want you to be aware that coordinates don't have to be whole numbers. And in fact, as you go on, you'll see your coordinates can be halves, quarters, any kind of decimal in between. Here, it's three and a half. Then we have a look for our y-coordinate, and that we do by going across to the y-axis, and we see that we're at the negative four level. Just a final example, and here you'll see, which is what you will often get, is a um, coordinates axis without the grid behind. And that's no problem. We don't have to have the grid behind. But then you must just be very careful when you go to read off the point that you go, when you're going up or down, you go exactly parallel to the x-axis or y-axis. You go straight. You don't let yourself kind of deviate off. So let me show you what I mean. If we want this pink um, point, as always, we start with the x-coordinate and to get the x-coordinate, we use our x-axis as a measuring stick, and we must just go straight, right? Can you see what I mean by absolutely straight to that um, x-axis? And um, here we see that that is at negative 2. In other words, two steps to the left of the origin. And then we need to get our y-coordinate, um, and we do that by using our y-axis as the measuring stick, and we go straight across to our y-axis and we see that we're at the level that is six steps below the origin. So our y-coordinate is negative six.